Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today, Balthazar Gelt. We're here, gelting it up, fun time. We, um, we have Gelt, and we have the DLCs installed. So, let's see what happened, uh, as a result of doing that. Oh, would you look at that? We can get the Knights of the Black Rose now. Isn't that fun? So, I might, um, I might do that. Um, pretty soon. It's nice to see bonus versus infantry on some knights. I think that's really fun. And immune to psychology. And they can hide in a forest. Most people can hide in a forest, but still, um, that's that's lovely. So a reminder of man's mortality lies in the dread nature of these knights' frightening appearance, ostensibly at odds with their motto, Fear Not Death. Very, very cool. Uh, also, we have some new things in Nuln. Uh, oh, no. Hockland Long Rifles are here. Okay, they did rejigger some things about. Um, they moved some things around. I think it was probably because having only DLC units in that last tier meant that would never get built by the AI or whatever. Or like it would and then it would have to get downgraded or you have this weird building that... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but whatever the case. Um, they decided to put it all in um, the first just three tiers. Actually, I guess it's just they wanted to make it consistent that the um, the basic recruitment building is always maxed out at three so you can fit them into um, minor settlements. Which I adore. The idea that you can get, like, the elite, um, you know, uh, infantry all on tier one is very, very cool. In fact, the fact that you can get Reichsguard, uh, Knights of the Black Rose, and Knights of the Blazing Sun all at the same tier as well is pretty cool. Also, we should definitely get um, the livery built over the Knights of the Blazing Sun. Was that even an option in the past? I know Knights of the Blazing Sun were an option in the past, but I mean buying them from a stable. Because I seem to remember having to actually take Talipoim um, to get them. You know, I remember having to build the chapter house. Which, honestly, I, in a way I prefer. I think the game could do with limiting um, certain units to, like, certain regions. It would, it would provide more of a reason to ally with people. Because you go, oh, well, they have that thing that they're famous for. I want it, therefore I should, you know, I should... Um, uh, uh, you know, ally with them and, and get some allied units from them. I think that would be nice uh, to lean into that a bit more, because um, well, things like, uh, let's have a look. So what have we unlocked as well? We have the, st uh, the steam tank with a volley gun, and we have um, where are you? Here we go, the land ship. So if the AI is just fielding like, dozens of land ships in an army, that's going to get really weird. You know? Um, there's some units that are rare and niche that should feel rare and niche. So, you know, I think um, that's a bit of a funny one as well. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, so one thing we do want to do, probably, it's going to cost us a lot of money. Why don't I have access to it? I found a bug. I think I found a bug. Oh, unless it's not refreshed the pool yet. Oh, I think the town will still be there, right? Okay, so I can't I can't seem to recruit. Okay, engineers are there. Okay, I don't have access to engineer lords. That could be a bug. Yeah, I can't get master engineers. I don't know if it's just because they're I mean there should still be The fact that there is a tab for engineer. You know, there should be a tab for Is that all of the options? Yeah, I guess so. But, I mean, there should be, uh, obviously, Engineer. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happened there. Um, it could be as a result of turning on the DLC midway through a campaign. But I will I will report that and uh, get back to you guys. Because that's that's frustrating. Actually, I probably won't get back to you guys. It depends if I get an answer or if it's... Um, it could be a bug. Um... No, it might be done with this campaign before that gets resolved, but I will, uh, I will report that. So, anyway, we have the DLC uh, enabled now. In fact, I've probably started a DLC campaign on the channel by now. Uh, I'm not 100% on what it is, because I, I haven't started recording it yet. But, um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. I think it's the dwarfs, but um, as soon as I start recording that series, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see, but I hope you're enjoying it. So, I think we are at the end of the episode. Uh, not the episode. What are we talking about? The end of the turn. Oh, also, we've got Grundle's Defenders. We've unlocked some more Regiments of Renown as well. Uh, so we have the Wonder of the Age, which is a land ship. Very, very fun. 
Uh, we have the Hergig Jägerkorps, which are the Hauklund long rifles of Hergig. Uh, merchants beset whilst travelling the trade road from Hergig have seen their approaching foe drop dead with a loud crack and no gunman to be seen. Very fun. So what I really like about these guys is they have Shield Breaker, which is very exciting, and they have Snipe, which means they have that 260 range and you're not going to see him coming, which is very, very cool. I'll just be poking away at people. Uh, also, the Age of Wonder, created by the Forges of Nuln for the Guildmasters of Marienburg, this prototype has had no expense spared on its finery or munitions. Which is very fun indeed. We'll have to check out the land ships at some point. And uh, Grundle's Defenders. These guys are really fun because um, they're specifically charged here, as it says, charge of defending mortar and cannon batteries in combat. These stalwart defenders never allow an artillery position to become overwhelmed, which is why they have Rear Guardian, which is basically uh, like Guardian, you know, where it, it gives protection to lords and heroes, but this gives it to artillery and war machines, which I think is really fun. I think it's a really fun concept that they're just trained to keep the artillery, you know, safe which uh, is very exciting. I like that as a as a thing. So there you go, it's a new regiment of Nelm and stuff as well. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen um, a lot of that stuff in more detail for people who are, you know, starting afresh. But, uh, or people just doing battle content or whatever. But we will try and pick up some of those while we finish up this campaign. So I can actually get Gehenna's Golden Globe. That's very tempting, but I might need to spend all of this on restoration. Ah, it's a tough one. I might have to wait. Alright, we're at the end of the turn, is what I was trying to say earlier. Not the episode. The moot is under attack. That is fine. I was expecting that to be the case. Um, and it means I should be able to catch these guys with their trousers down. Helmut Fowlback wants me to... Oh, they want me to join the war against the Disciples of Moor because they're still at war with them. And actually, I didn't realise they are all the way down here. It seems they have basically the Border Princes covered. Um, I'm going to say no, though. Sorry, mate. And, oh, they already sacked it. No! 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 Nemesis Crown got claimed. I wanted that. That's so annoying. Drycha has the Nemesis Crown. Well, now we have to wipe her out. Nemesis Crown has been discovered, and now the ancient artifact rests upon an, a new brow. The malevolent power of the crown possesses uh, its new master, Dreitra of Wargrove of Woe. Ah, oh, so annoying. By Sigma. So annoying by Sigma. Yes. All right. Ready to serve. Come on, lad. Let's, um... Hmm. Do not waste my potential. I mean, I don't want to waste your potential. But you make it so easy. <laughs> now, let's get up here. Um, and I'm just going to wait an additional turn. We'll have a couple of armies, like, marching, so we don't have to worry too, too much about... Um... Oh, yeah, I don't even need a channel. Let's set up an ambush stance. Right. These guys might decide they're going to... The two of them are going to try and fight Curtis, in which case we'll have all these guys fight. This, this army ambushing this army might end in this army dying, though. Because that is not very healthy, is it? I am ready. I not a very healthy army. Yes, that will do. You know what? Let's just have you go to Alverheim and you can get the maximum amount of punishment. After that, I think we'll be, like, fit to march. And I'm just going to move you back to there. If he gets attacked, like, fine. You know, that's not a problem. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to move the Jade Wizard over and spend that money. I think what I will do, just so just so I can't go back on it, is we're going to get Gehenna's Golden Globe unlocked for Gelt. Okay? I want it. I want it. It's that simple. I want it already. Uh, now you, because you are defending the Wasteland, I think it makes sense to get the uh, the the a the Wonder of an Age, Wonder of the Age, uh, the land ship for him. So now we have to get him into a fight so I can see the land ship. You know, got to, got to. And Hopkins Long Rifles? I don't want to just fill him up with everything, you know? Um, I want it to be still worthwhile. I don't want to just go, oh, new content, and then just, like, go nuts. I think that's a bit boring. Um, stubborn Bulls might be useful to have. Nobles Abroad? I mean, they are abroad, aren't they? 
It would be good to have some cavalry. Here we do just pick up those two units. Or we use global recruitment. Nice the Black Rose as well. Uh, huh. Hang on. Wait. Wait a sec. Oh, we haven't got to that tier yet. Okay, let's recruit. Not recruit. Build. That recruitment building. We need it. We need it. And, well, I guess I spent all my money now. Wolfenberg is a couple turns away from being able to get to tier 3, which is good news for us. Uh, that's not there yet. Uh, oh, Hergig could be upgraded. I need to do that. And so could Talapheim. Well, damn. Alright, now I think we have to jump in the sea. I think this army can handle some things. Alright, let's start grabbing some treasure. Alright, we'll grab that one, grab that one. Maybe we'll go for this shipwreck. You know, when we're done. I can't tell if that... No, that's just part of the map. I couldn't tell if that was treasure. That is some treasure. I don't think we're going to go too far afield, though. But I definitely want to pick these up. See if we can get some extra cash. And get some experience with this guy, if he can do some battles, you know. That would be useful. But yeah, weird. We have Master Engineers. It's just because there wasn't one in the in the pool yet. Thank God for that. Okay, good. I don't have to um, uh, uh, report anything. Also, this is pretty good. Upkeep reduction for Empire Artillery and War Machine units. And Casualty Replenishment Rate plus 10% for Artillery. That's very fun. So this guy is going to have to get himself a nice artillery army. Um, we are going to have terrible upkeep for a while. It doesn't matter. I want to play with the new thing. Right, moving on. Hail to you, Lord of the Lance. Hey, Louis. Uh, Louis is demanding that we join the war against disciples of the war. No. No, I'm done with that. They're nowhere near you. You don't have to worry about it. So, imminent rebellion. I mean, yeah, that was inevitable. Let us begin. But we'll go sort that out. Grateful paragons, you say. The example you set is inspirational. Is it? Uh, the heroes on your command are proud to carry out your will. We have really, like, indoctrinated these guys. We've done a very good job of, um... What's the term? Red-pilling them? <laughs> Welcome to fascism, boys. Uh, the cost of all hero actions has fallen. They're all they're all happy to toe the party line. Christ, we really are making like the worst possible empire, aren't we? So I need to upgrade some of the main settlements uh, with the cash we have. I mean, oh, upgrading that would have been good. Upgrading all the stuff is good. Right, a bit of extra cash there, maybe. All right, let's see if... Oh, actually, that's a nice idea as well. Transmutation! Huzzah! Okay, now we can do Hergig as well. That's nice. Okay, now let's see if there's some more treasure here. Uh, there might be. We have to defeat a foe with this quite silly army. But we do have a we do have a boat. We did bring a boat to the island, so that's nice. So do you think we sailed in the, um, the Wonder of the Age? Do you think we sailed there in that, and then just, like, drove up onto the shore? Yeah, let's pretend that's the case. Um, I don't know if these things are in any way seaworthy. I don't think they are. But, uh, we can pretend. It is- this is the wonder of the age. Okay. The remains of a large sea beast are spotted floating in some nearby backwaters. The unidentified creature has been inexplicably ripped to pieces by an explosive force. It's very torn open and exposed. This mysterious find could prove bountiful, for who knows what devoured treasures might reside within its guts. An unidentified ship has been spotted nearby. A ri uh, rival scavengers? Whoever they are, you are not one to share. Salvage with anyone. Loot the carcass. Uh, this is absolutely not worth fighting in any way. Um, but let's give some extra armor piercing to that guy, and uh, let's fight it. I want to see the Wonder of the Age sailing about the land. It's, it's a silly one. Let's go. Okay, so... <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I love the... Uh... Oh, what would you call these? I used to know the name of the... Of the the thing you'd put on the front of a ship. You know? 
bloody massive on this one. But, like, look at this. It's so good. So good. Like, don't go invisible. I'm trying to show you off. Like, all the gold trim, because this is the fancy prototype. It's supposed to impress everyone. Big old steam en engine on the back. Very daft. The fact that this was basically built as a... Um, uh, as a sort of... Um, this is a bit of a weird one, actually, because I, I think they've changed how the law is with regards to steam tanks, how there's basically like, oh, whatever, people can build steam tanks, not a problem. This was supposed to be built because people couldn't build a steam tank and they wanted to build something similar. They knew how to build boats, and someone figured out how to make a steam engine, not compact enough for something like a steam tank, but like big enough to shove on the back of a boat and make this absurd creation, you know? But, uh, yeah, this is literally just in sort of retaliation. Um for men of the Empire being able to have steam tanks. Like, I want a steam tank too, and here we go. You know, here it is. So, a pretty cool thing anyway. Um, what's this have? Full power! That lets us um, <laughs> move forward with more pace. That's fun. Alright, so... This is my first time using one of these, by the way. I can see why you need to hit full power. It's quite slow. It takes a while to get going. That's so funny, though. Look at this thing. So good. Alright, let's shoot that champ. Uh, everyone needs to start moving forward, I think. Let's, let's all start moving forward. Come on. So this thing um, does shoot more than just its cannon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's like a Stegodon or a Skink, like all the people on top will just be blasting out the sides. And they all have blunderbusses, so... It's gonna get pretty... pretty exciting. Uh, maybe I wanna hit that, actually. <laughs> Still just blasting away. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna give him a broadside. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what, maybe I will just shoot that guy. Okay, let's kill them, please. Everything that can shoot them is uh, perfect. And, ooh, we're taking big damage from the gunnery mobs. I might need to actually, like, run into them. <laughs> Boop. I know, do I want to be in combat with them like that? Probably not. Alright, you need to back off. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's more hand cannons. So I probably need to watch out for them too. So they'll be dead in a second. So that's nice. Oh my god, we've almost lost the land cannon, the, the land ship. Because I decided to run past a bunch of hand cannons that are like the perfect the perfect counter to it. <laughs> right away. It's very embarrassing. I just I just wanted to see it sailing around. Like a goon. Oh no! 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 <laughs> so stupid. What an absolute waste of time this is. That's so dumb. Oh, that's so silly. I love it. Alright. Alright, boys. Let's, uh, let's deal with them, yeah? God, this army's dumb. Alright, we've got a bunch of, um, got a bunch of wizards and stuff. Probably use them. You know, for doing things. Uh, let's hit you guys. Uh, can I reach him? Yeah, I will be able to. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, everyone start shooting him. Alright, good. Um... Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's hit them. Yeah, that upset him. Alright, there we go. Uh, we took obscene amounts of damage, and our, our lad ship got completely wrecked. That, that was a very silly, fun battle. Um, I, I'll take it. Yeah, no, land ship, it's fun. It's fun. But, hand cannons are the perfect counter to it. Anything that's like a big shotgun that is sort of expected to miss a bunch of its shots, like, you can't really miss this. It's the size of a barn, so, you know, not ideal. But, uh, yeah, just don't use it like a pillar, and you'll be fine. All right, beautiful. 
Uh, we're going to go to replenishment. I think we have to. Uh, although the land ship isn't replenishing its results there. Redeem yourselves and join us. Not this officer. Okay, so campaign line of sight. Got Pegasus. Oh, we've got to get Aldridge. Lovely. And we got eight grand. The rival salvagers you spotted turned out to be freebooting horde of undead pirates. As you approach the putrid remains, they turned their guns and cannons on you. After dispatching them in the ensuing sea battle, you looted their galleon's coffers, which had recently been filled with trinkets and valuables extracted from the dead beast's belly. The wild so you might need to get back to land to let that, um... Let that heal up. <laughs> After that silliness but uh, that's fine so now experienced hunter so we get the anti-large the extra range for all of our archers suddenly these rubbish little archers are going to be quite good sights. look at that eight bonus versus large the great very very doors. nice that's really going to help them out can make them a lot more viable you know we'll be able to sort of Equipment single check. out big scary things have them all shoot at it and it'll die you know and that's that's all we could ask for really in fact, I could ask for a bit more. I could ask them to have less armor so we can do even more damage. So let's do that too. Huntsman General. Good. Now, uh, anything else I could get you? I mean, we do have some other regiments renowned. I don't want to just you shove everything in here, though. You know? I want to trickle it out. I want to have them in situations that make sense. You know, like our land ship for the ocean. What a stupid game this is. I love it. It's so good. Like, you just don't get this in, you know, in other games. Just plays it so straight, you know. Oh, that bad we can upgrade as well. Okay, we've done a lot of upgrades in the last couple of turns, which is marvellous for us. And we should do something with Curtis, shouldn't we? Really should. Um, I don't want him to suffer attrition here, though. Which is the annoying thing. And I can't get that close in. Do I trust Gelt to just kill everything on his own again? I mean, he will have the help of these guys too. Speaking of help, I should probably do something about these. But I don't have any money, so I guess I'll just waltz in. Uh, Curtis should be able to reach Schwarzhofen or Fort Oberstar next turn. I think we might split up a bit. Hopefully we won't get ambushed again, that'd be embarrassing. I'm amazed we actually got ambushed. <laughs> and yeah, this guy is just is causing more upkeep right now. Ratio. That's all he's doing Grand currently. Inventor. I should probably wait until I can actually afford to like buy some units. And so till we have ideas. the Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get rid of you. I know, I just recruited him. It's dumb, but like, whatever. Uh there's look, there's we can still get him. We can still get him back. Just, you know, in a few turns. In five turns. That's fine. We'll leave it five turns. We are and then by then, hopefully, we would have built up some of our infrastructure a little bit more. And we can actually afford to sort of field another of army. Uh, but until then, yeah, it's just a waste having him stood there while we wait for um, recruitment buildings to be built. Also, what is a big problem here is Null doesn't have... Uh, we don't have the Cannon Foundry for a bunch of fun bonus stuff to get uh, Emperor's Wrath, because that would be hilarious have another steam tank and we don't actually have the artillery buildings built uh in none so we can't get like well any artillery frankly and i kind of want all of it you know kind of want to go a bit nuts here i definitely want to get a steam tank with a volley gun that's such like an amazing addition i think i think it's really fun just terrifying frankly okay i think that's it for the turn i mean we went sailing what more could you ask for set aside my studies for a moment to hear your words. Right, Zufbar wants to hang out. Uh, yeah, I guess I could um, yeah, let's get a bunch of agreements, actually. Get a bunch. Brilliant. Uh, there's been a confederation. That's fine. The Empire. Uh, Alright, I think we can go chase down Vlad now. He's in Fort Oberstar, which has a big garrison, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference if we... Um, Ready. If we just jump him. Champion of the faith. Could bring this guy in too. He'd have to march stance though. Oh no he wouldn't. I live to serve the no he wouldn't. Alright, let's... Let's run over here then. Sigma and and Gelt can do the battle uh, instigation. Also, Boris Schaffner 
He's getting some extra income for us over there. The Savage Blow. I think that means that our uh, big, like, magic thingy is all over now, isn't it? Um, that was probably over a while ago, actually. Many conflicts are won or lost on the strength of the first vicious charge. Men are sent flying to the battlefield, often in pieces, even before the savagery of melee begins. A well-timed charge shatters enemy morale as well as bodies. Blood and sweat may coat the victors, but victory is always painted in colours such as these. Those at the head of the charge seek ever greater thrills, ever more bloodshed. As the battles become bigger, the body count grows higher, and the trickles of blood become ever-flowing rivers of red. They sure do. It is time. So, uh, yeah, extra challenge bonus for everybody. So that's fun. Or was that the weapon strength one? You know, I didn't even pay attention. Which one was it? This is the charge one. Yeah, yeah. So, extra one. everyone gets an extra 20 charge bonus. Uh, and we tend to be fairly static um, for a lot of our units, but we do have a lot of cavalry that won't be static, so that's something. Um, and we do have Gehenna's Golden Globe now, which is very fun. Very exciting. And yeah, a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Let's have them. Uh, oh my god, it's a minor settlement battle. Oh my god. Guys, I think this is the first one of these we've fought this campaign. I miss these. I miss these so much. They just never happen anymore. And they are some of the most fun battles. Like having to scale walls all the time in sieges is just a bit boring. Um, you know, it's just, you end up just stood next to it and just shooting over. This actually forces you to sort of engage, you know. I really like these. I really like these battles. I really want more of them. Uh, so, we have more reinforcements coming over here, which is nice. Uh, they got reinforcements coming this way. I'm always tempted to get my cavalry down there to deal with them. We are yeah, let's send that lot over there to go deal with them. Uh, the Borderman can slowly inch forward and kill literally everything. Uh, that might be a good opening gambit. Also kind of want to have the artillery having a fun time. Um, yeah, we'll just push all these guys forwards. Yeah, let's just push all these guys. Further forward straight away. For the twin -tailed comet. And I need to get you not in as well. Alright, let's see how this goes. Outriders. What? Two That's weird they just inched forwards like the Empire straight away. That's strange. Okay. So, there's the Air Force. Let's get more magic. Sounds good. And I got a final transmutation, these jerks. They're probably going to heal right away, but. Uh, the bats are going to move to intercept. Yeah, let's get them brute. Like, that is a little scary as an air force. Tell you what, let's. Um... Let's just get our Air Force to deal with it, shall we? Also, this could be used anywhere. This could be used anywhere. It doesn't even be in range of Gels. Which is insane. So powerful to have something that can react like that. Yeah, if I go for these guys, like, early, I can just hit them with, like, final transmutation, you know? So I think I might go fight uh, Isabella von Karstein. Try and get her out of the uh, out of the fight. Gotta watch out for them now, though. And you're almost out of ammo. I should probably keep you in reserve for now. Oh, I forgot they had that. Oh, I hate that ability. Yeah, the von Karsteins have got a little thing, a little vortexy thing. Oh, I actually cast it on him. It's a shame. I was actually hoping it would be on Geld. Alright, yeah, we'll go fight them. Screw it. You're going to be this way. <laughs> You're going to act this way. And, oh, they're doing crossbowmen there as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, 
Okay, let's go mess about. We are Sigma's heirs. Oh, they're all moving to engage. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Loads of artillery damage. Ready for war. Bout is our guilt. And oh, I can't quite get them both in range, so I'm gonna move him away so these guys this guy moves into my trap aha you've activated my trap card all right speed you up and then let's go big damage and i suppose i could actually um boss your damage even higher actually so let's do that here's van horseman speculum as well and these guys will probably be over pretty quick. Ready for war. What? I don't know. What? What the hell? I must have grabbed... I must have grabbed my units and told them to attack over here. I must have selected the flying units and selected them when I couldn't see them. Oh, it's so embarrassing. And costly, honestly. And was it you too? God. Alright, come on. Let's move you all forward. And all you lot. What the hell are you all doing? No idea. Having fun, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, they're down here. Perfect. Wait, no, I can't attack them. Why not? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. But on looks like we got rid of these Vile guys, so that's nice. Oh, there's Crypt. No, there's a Vile guys. Yeah. Fun. Yes, my lord. Oh my god. Stop. Stop it. On our way. Stop being rubbish. Alright, you pull back. Alright, now let's get our air force to get rid of this tower. Once it's destroyed, it's destroyed, so. You go for those crypt horrors. Now let's see. What's the plan here? So we've got all you lot here. Let's line you up. Let's get the rest of our air force up and around. Uh, this guy and all of our cavalry over here can line up. Good. And you guys can pull back now. Okay, another final transmutation on it. Marvellous. <laughs> Excellent. Outriders. Moving now. Great stuff. Alright, that works out really well. And we have the rest of our Air Force. It's being group one, actually. There we go. Look at our Air Force. A big old air force right there. Our steeds are restless. Right, come on, fellas. Ready. What? What is this? Oh, because there's some hounds over there. Judge. Yeah, fair enough. No, oh, I guess you don't really do anything over there. For You're fine over there. Halberdiers. Yeah, you got a lot of halberdiers out. For the Warhammer. Okay, tower's destroyed. Uh, do I go for Gelt? Not Gelt. You know, what's his name? Vlad. Do I go for Vlad? And do I go for these skeleton warriors? Maybe I do. I'm going to put you onto skirmish mode. Alright, we're going to try and kill some of these bats, I guess. And, oh! That's who you're attacking, huh? Alright, these guys are doing fine over there. Sigma exultant. And god, silver bullet's getting wrecked. Right, let's bring you over here. Come on, go kill those bats. I'm trying to figure out where anything is on this map. There's so much stuff going on. Alright, let's pull you guys back. You're actually taking way too much damage. Alright, if you can shoot them, that would be lovely. God, this is so silly. Oh my god, and I keep selecting things in the background. Verticality is not this game's strength. 
Uh, this needs to be still working out okay though. And that's all fine, but I don't like this arrow tower shooting at us. So I'm going to try and shoot at it. Manuel Posner is still chilling over there. Okay, now let's use a regrowth on him. Alright, I don't think this will last too long. Oh yeah, that went down real quick. Yeah, a couple of those volleys and we're laughing. Isabella von Karstein has decided to come play. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You absolute moron. Although so are our artillery, apparently. Alright, let's do all that. Let's put up their miscast chance. And lower their armor and melee attacks some more. I think we have bad horsemen speculating. Didn't we, did we use that already? Oh no, there we go. We'll use that too. And... And I suppose that'll probably do. Can you not shoot it at her? That feels like you should... You know, that should be obvious. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> She's coming for us. Alright, we destroyed that tower, though. So, how is Isabella doing? Still has full health. We haven't haven't even touched her. Okay. Even with all the debuffs. Christ. Also, we have quite a lot of cavalry that should probably be doing something. You know, ideally. Let's go for the grave guard. Alright, let's move you across. Uh, grave guard and skeleton warriors. Should I just hit them with a grave guard? I don't know. I feel like I should hit something with this. Alright, how are we doing over here? We still haven't dealt with it. Like, at all. And now our entire army is getting hit by a big old vortex. You know, kind of feels like we played into our hands. But, like. How the hell? <laughs> we not done like any damage to her yet madness like genuinely pathetic the amount of damage we've, we've taken from this unbelievable like what just move away this is stupid like we cannot attack her because of the weird verticality issues we've got like I don't know what else to do there no, move. Move, you jerk. Christ. What a frustrating fight. Okay, can we actually attack properly now? Is that actually going to work now? Come on. Oh, there's so many of you here. This should not be a problem. Should not be a problem. No, what shall I use? Yeah, that again sounds great. Uh, we lost our hawks though already. Well, they could really do anything. Let's get a manticore in there. Alright, try and hit them now. Can you do that? Alright, now we're hitting her. Now we're finally getting her. Alright, another final transmutation. Did I even hit him? Oh my god, we're getting hit by that vortex again. Christ. They're getting amazing value from her. Like, stunningly good value. She's nearly dead, though. She's nearly dead. Alright, am I gonna go fight Vlad now? Where's that other... Oh, there she is. She's over here. Alright, let's go fight her instead, then. Alright, you can move in. Let's hit her with one of those. And you are going to fly at the most awkward angle, aren't you? Sure are. Sure are. And you guys are also moving at the most awkward angle. Right, just pull you back. Should just use that, you know. Should just use the Luminarch. Shouldn't have bothered with anything else. Shouldn't have bothered with I need to get over here and deal with these guys. 
All right, come on. Let's run you in here. And then we can use Grand Sulfide. Alright, now where am I going to put this? Let's just hit someone with this. Skeleton Warriors, Zombies. Come on, there's got to be some, like... There's got to be some graveyard somewhere to hit, surely. I don't think there is. It's just them. They're all, they're all going to be dead. Alright, here we go. Let's watch this be the biggest waste of time. They're going to step forward and it'll hit no one. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Done. <laughs> that was our one use of it, so... The fact it just bounced back and forth, though, is pretty funny. They're here! <laughs> they finally made it! Alright, let's get some more healing in. Bam, 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 bam. Anyone? There we go. Alright, let's go get Vlad. Let's go get Vlad. Or should we just, like, harass his crossbowman first? Uh, and you. Go, go blow them up. Alright, some units are heading down this way. Oh, you're going to get me with all those little vortexes. Oh my god, he is. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Just stunning. Do another one of those. Kill him. Go get him. Uh, so we hit him. He's probably going to heal himself, though. Alright, now, how about all these guys? Let's let's push you forwards. Oh, there's some grave guards. Could have hit them. And, well, you're in a bit of a bind now. Oh, crypt ghouls, huh? It's exciting. Alright, they're all dead. Alright, they're charging in. Alright, time to get him. Time to get him. So, let's go with... Uh, healing up our boys again. Hit him with another final transmutation. Alright, you do all of the bonuses. Alright, you do some more bonuses. Uh, let's... Lower his uh, melee attack and armor. Let's buff these stats of the one who can do armor piercing and use Van Horseman Speculum and then summon a bunch of hordes and then summon another Manticore excellent and that's... oh no, can't buff all of us, I'll buff you I guess Alright, and then we'll have our Manticore run down here, who's sadly flying, so a bit sad right now. Then we'll get another final transmutation. Alright, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower his armor by 30. Then I'm gonna lower his melee attack again. Okay, brilliant. Alright, then I'm gonna lower more of his stats. Okay, good, we got him. And now everyone's given up, because, I mean, wouldn't you? Alright, I feel like we hit him with quite a lot of magic. You know, at least a, a smidge. Uh, now, let's get someone with a regrowth. Alright, let's get you with a regrowth. And we'll heal you. Oh, do you not actually do the regrowth? I didn't actually have it proc in time. Alright, you can go away. And, okay, you too. Okay, brilliant. And I think we've used all our magic. Oh, well, we have nothing left in the tank. All right, well, there we go. That was a very silly battle. It's very silly. Very silly indeed. But uh, I love minor settlement battles. They're really fun. The fact you can just probe in a bunch of different directions and, like, retreat, and it's, it's fun. It's more dynamic. Okay. Let's go. Uh who? Um Yeah, I'm just gonna occupy. You 
All right, good. If uh, Gelt gets wounded, he'll only be for a turn, so that's nice. Down, but probably not out, as you cannot really kill what doesn't truly live. Two right. So, we've got that all covered. Good. And, uh, yeah, it took some damage. But generally doing fine. Uh, where can I put you? <laughs> where can I put you? I always find this so annoying about taking place with big, uh, big attrition. Just finding, like, you know, figuring out where to put them so I'm not suffering all this attrition. It's very annoying. And also, there's a huge amount of siege corruption there. We did destroy... I think we did destroy the thing there, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think we destroyed the cult hideout or whatever they're called. Uh, Curtis Voldorf. Let's get you Deadly Blade. Uh, Deets can get... Uh, Flamestorm. That's a fun one. Oh, crap, you leveled up twice. Some of that is probably Mentor. Champion of yeah, I think some of that is probably from Mentor, from our other um, heroes. Getting a bunch of experience in that battle, what and they're all sharing it amongst themselves now. Which is kind of awesome. Um, Nicholas Dogburglar. Let's get you Grim Resolve. Gives immune to psychology for nearby people if you're in melee. I mean, that's kind of nice. Kind of like that. It's a fun one. Wow, you leveled up three times. Flipping heck. All right, let's also get you fleet-footed and extra powder. So extra powder uh, affects allies in range. So it'll be more damage for our ranged units. Which is rather nice. Uh, now, Balthazar Gelt. What on earth do we get for you? Mentor? I mean, it's quite an easy one. And I guess we'll need Sigmar's ward at some point. Um, Simon Warner. Again, Mentor sounds like a good one if we do end up getting no. any other um, Empire Captains. That could be very handy. Let's get boost income, I suppose. And for you, Hands Impenetrable Pelt. And uh, boost income as well, apparently. Cool. Okay, is that everybody? That is everybody. Good. Now what do I do over here? Random income building. We have a bunch of cash now. Which is really nice to see. We have to build a wall on that though, and Grant's that needs to be upgraded. Uh, Vissenland has some work to be done. Uh, I guess we need to protect that too. Runberg. Oh, Eilhart can get upgraded for a bit more income. Let's actually have a look at Marienburg. I want to see how that's doing. We do have more trade goods potentially. That's useful. And we could upgrade the harbour. That would be pretty good. Extra 200 per turn. Extra trade goods. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's... Alright, Averheim, you can look after yourself now. Sorry, mate. And um, so do you, Wissenberg. Rather than defence, I'm going to go with money. That'll work out better for me in the long run, I'm sure. Uh, okay, now we can jump back in the sea. We can head over there next turn. We should be able to reach that next turn. But I guess I can uh, guarantee that we do. Okay. Things are looking good. Uh, but we are at the end of the episode. Uh, nice to have the DLC enabled. So we can finally start doing things with that. Uh, very fun indeed. You know, at some point we will actually get some units for it. Um, but yeah, we need, to, we need to come over here. I don't know why that's still there. Like, it shouldn't still be there, I wouldn't have thought. Unless it means we have to fight a battle against Dreitcher here now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works when it's claimed by someone else. I've not had that happen before. So, yeah, interested to see how that works. We're still going to head there and see what that event does. But uh, until then, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Let us begin.